Hi, Ethan. Hi, Dad. Hey, did you know that some people don't know what the Book of Mormon is? What? That's crazy talk. No, it's true. I learned it on the internet. Whoa, the internet knows a lot of stuff. It's gotta be true. Yeah. So, you want to help me answer the question? What question? What is the Book of Mormon? Oh yeah, I can do that. But first, I have to draw a picture. Oh, good idea. That's a nice picture. Thanks. Now let's talk about prophets. Special witnesses that God calls to preach his message to the people. And they write it down, too. All these writings collected up are called the Bible. Right. The Bible contains two parts. The Old Testament, which witnesses that Jesus Christ would come and fulfill his divine role as our Savior. And the New Testament, that tells us that Jesus did come. It teaches us about his life. Now, our story begins in Jerusalem, about 600 B.C. That's before Jesus was born. Right. Now, God called many prophets in those days, but one prophet, Lehi, was commanded to take his family and a small group of people and leave Jerusalem. They wandered in the wilderness for a long time. And then God commanded them to build a ship. And that's how they sailed to the promised land. They landed in the Americas, and God continued to call prophets among the people to teach them his will. And they wrote down his words too, just like the prophets in the old world. Speaking of that, let's go back to the old world for a very special event, the birth of Jesus. That is special. Do you remember what sign was given to testify to the world that the Savior was born? Yeah, a new star in the sky. Exactly. The witnesses in the old world saw it and wrote about it. And the prophets in the new world saw it too and wrote about it. The New Testament tells us that Jesus taught the Jews and fulfilled his mission. Eventually he was betrayed and crucified. There was darkness and earthquakes throughout the land to testify that the Messiah had died. And the witnesses wrote about it. And in the new world, they had storms and earthquakes and darkness too. And the prophets wrote about it. But after three days, Jesus was resurrected. And the witnesses wrote about it. Now, during Jesus' ministry, he had told his disciples, Other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Ooh, I know. I know who the other sheep were. Ooh, beat me. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead. The people in the new world. <laughs> yes, well done. So, after Jesus ascended into heaven in the old world, he came down and appeared to the people in the new world. Jesus taught them his gospel, called disciples, healed the sick. And they wrote down the things that Jesus did and what he taught them. Exactly. Now, the people were so affected by the Savior's visit that they had perfect peace for about 200 years in the New World. But eventually, a massive war and their own wickedness threatened them with utter destruction. A prophet was called to hide up the records and make an abridged account of some of their most valuable religious experiences and teachings. The prophet's name was Mormon, but he died in battle before he could finish it. His son Moroni finished it and named it after his dad. He called it the Book of Mormon. To protect the book, Moroni buried it in an area that would later come to be called Upstate New York. About 1,400 years later, God had called a new prophet, Joseph Smith. And God sent Moroni as an angel to show Joseph where the sacred record was hidden. Joseph Smith translated the ancient writing by the gift and power of God. And now we can read the Book of Mormon today. Yes, we can. It stands as another witness of Jesus Christ. Remember, the Old Testament testifies that Jesus would come, and the New Testament testifies that he did come. And the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ. Together, the Bible and the Book of Mormon give us a deeper knowledge of Jesus Christ and his teachings. They teach us that Jesus Christ manifests himself to all nations and is the God of the whole earth. Thanks for your help, buddy. You did a great job. 
You're welcome. Now it's time for one of my favorite of God's creations. Uh, nature? No, ice cream. Oh, very nice. I like the way you think. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. You most certainly are, and cute too. You must take after your mother. <laughs>